Hi, Santa Barbara and Montecito. Daniel Zia here, founder, CEO, and broker associate for Z Group, powered by EXP Realty on the Central Coast. I'm here with December's market update to go over the statistical sales activity in the real estate market of Santa Barbara and Montecito. These are the November statistics that we're presenting to you now that we have them here in December. So to dive in, the market is continually active, meaning it has been an extremely active market all year long. And some of the key points of the market right now is we've got the all-time lowest inventory that we've essentially ever seen in the greater Santa Barbara area. That's defined by the absorption rate. That is the number of months or weeks of inventory at the pace current homes are selling. How long would it take for all of the available homes on the market to sell? Uh, last month, for the very first time in the history of Santa Barbara real estate, we dropped below one month's of inventory or below an absorption rate of one month. Uh, we were at like 0.98 last month. Uh, this month, we're at 0.94, which means the, mar the market continues to tighten. Part of that is we're going into the seasonal time of year where we historically have less inventory come on the market here with the holidays. But the big difference about why that absorption rate keeps getting smaller uh, is because we not only have the seasonality of less homes coming on the market, but unlike a lot of years, we have buyer demand staying significantly higher than normal. So if you've considered selling your homes, uh, selling a home over the holidays, this is actually a great time to do it. Uh, early this coming year is going to be great as well because we have all of these buyers. It feels like a summertime uh, buyer pool that have, haven't found what they wanted yet and they're really eager to purchase a property before you know we hear word of interest rates going up in 2022. And and we just have a lot of buyer and agent fatigue where buyers have been looking for so long without the right property. They're now at a point in time where buyers are willing to compromise on what they're going to buy or they're willing to increase their budget. They're ready to make a decision and finally stop searching. So if you've been thinking about selling your home, it is our belief that January, February of next year is going to be an excellent time to sell it. Also, if you're in town, we know we're actually getting a little bit of rain right as we've been recording this, um, and that is great for our area because this time of year is really, really magical. You've got all the snowbirds in for vacation, and they're experiencing generally really nice warm temperatures compared to what they're used to, and yet the little bit of rain that we've gotten as well takes the hay-colored mountains and hillsides and make them, makes them just vibrant green, and then you also get really beautiful island clarity, uh, so view properties tend to sell really well this time of year. So if you, especially if you have a view property, if you got something with a hillside that's going to pop in green, and then of course, you know, going into the new year, it's going to, we're going to start getting all the colorful blooms and everything's going to happen. So keep that in mind as we dig forward. So let's go ahead and dive into the statistics. Uh, if, uh, if you are not currently on our website, you can always find these monthly housing reports. We offer them to the entire community, our clients and anyone else. If you happen to be working with another agent, that's perfectly fine. It is our desire to be Santa Barbara's local real estate economists of choice. And so we do this every month to really try to inform buyers and sellers both about what the market is doing. So you can always go to our website, zagroup.com, go to learn, go to housing reports, and then you can select the monthly housing report. Also, tune back in in the next few weeks. Uh, we are going to essentially be going over uh, the year-end report, which is always a really valuable one. So we're going to go ahead and release that in January when we have all of the year-end statistics. So again, housing reports. Uh, down here, we're going to go into the December 2021, and here we go, diving right into the statistics. So first, we're going to talk about um, the, the single-family home market for South Santa Barbara County. That's everything from Carpinteria to Goleta. Um, we have, as we talked about, a decrease in the number of listings. So that is both new listings are down 25% compared to last year at this point. And homes for sale, these are the, the number of new listings that came on in last month is down compared to, you know, November of last year. And then the total number of homes for sale is the total kind of the total inventory there. And that's it down 43%. So that's what you're seeing different between the new listings and the homes for sale. Uh, the number of sold listings you'll see here is down 31%. There were 94 single family home sales um, last month, which is a 31% decrease over the previous year. And a lot of that, in my opinion, is due to the decrease in new listings, right? 31% fewer sales. Well, 
Part of that is there are 25% fewer properties to sell compared to last year at that time. And that's a big reflection of that. Uh, other things you're gonna see is there's a little bit of some buyers have been priced out of the market. So we got a few less buyers because of that. Um, you've got holiday distraction. You know, we of course had Thanksgiving last month. We're gonna have Christmas and New Year's of this month. So we do see a little bit of, you know, buyer shift there. We also hearing, even with some of the COVID variants and everything, um, we're still seeing that there, uh, there's a lot of people that are still have deferred travel plans and they really want to make that up in this holiday season. So I think we're feeling a little bit more of the holiday distraction time. And then we do see a little bit of still buyer agent and uh, buyer fatigue, which I think is a little bit affecting this decrease in sales. But the big biggest line share is that we just have fewer homes to sell them. Now, as you can see here, the average sales price of a home is a little over $2.9 million in the Santa Barbara area, which is a 13% 30, increase over last year at that same month. Now, again, this is, this is isolated month over month, which means it's a fairly small sample size. Just in a few minutes, I'm going to go over year to date this year versus year to date last year. I think that's a truer picture of what the market's actually done from a appreciation standpoint. So stay tuned. I'm going to get to that just momentarily. As far as homes, the pace that homes are selling, homes are actually selling nearly 40% quicker this year uh, at this time than last year. Um, and as we went over, uh, the inventory is a dramatic decrease. So we essentially have, compared to the pace of sales, we saw an over 50% decrease in the amount of homes for sale, given the buyers that are out there shopping right now. All that to say is if you're a seller right now, you're going to get a phenomenal sales uh, experience and sales outcome and definitely the best sales outcome that you could have got in the history of Santa Barbara real estate. So uh, going to the condo market, we're just going to touch on this quickly. A lot of, a lot of the same is true for the condo market. Uh, we did see a decrease in the number of new listings, uh, which was just pretty minor. But overall, the number of condos of sales is significantly down from this time last year. The number of sales is up, not down, which is kind of interesting. So even with a slightly fewer to sell, um, uh, we actually are seeing more condo sell, which is great. One of the things that we're seeing there is more and more buyers get priced out of the single family homes uh, that they may want to purchase. They're making compromises and purchasing condos. And the theory behind that is they don't want to be priced out of the market. There's a lot of buyers that just no longer can afford the type of home, the number of bedrooms, the size that they want. And so they don't want that to be long term. They want to get a foothold into something, save up some more money, increase their earning power, and hopefully be able to swap into something at a later date. The average sales price for a condo is up 19% compared to last year at this time, coming in just above a million one fifty. And properties are still selling, uh, this case, a little over 40% more, 43% uh, quicker than, uh, than normal. And that's shown here. This is the average days on market. So a decrease here means it's actually selling quicker. Same thing on the absorption rate. We already talked about that. Let's kick over to the luxury market. Uh, most of the luxury market is in the affluent area of Montecito and Hope Ranch. Uh, so we're going to dig into that. It's been a, uh, a nice, busy, uh, uh, kind of um, a nice, busy sales month for, uh, for the luxury market. While we have been seeing, uh, so let's just talk about uh, by price range. So like last month, we had about 18 sales above 5 million. Uh, and about about 15, I think it was in the three to five million range. We have fewer this la uh, this last month than the previous month. We've got 12 sales over five million and 12 sales between three and five million. So while that sounds like a significant decrease over the previous month, when you compare that to what we normally see uh, at that at this time of year, it's phenomenal. So like two years ago, I mean, we might be talking about three or four times as many luxury sales. Uh, this last month as we would have seen two or three years ago in the same period of time. We still are struggling with a lack of inventory. If you have a home in Montecito or Hope Ranch, there are a number of desperate buyers sitting on the sidelines, actively looking, wanting to make a move and hoping that you will bring your home on their market and they're willing to pay top dollar for it. We did see a decrease in sales activity. I just kind of went over that with the number of luxury sales. Um, and we are seeing a decrease in homes for sale. So it's the same problem. We've got a problem of lack of inventory. 
Average sales price at Hope Ranch in Montecito for last month was just over $6 million. That's a 21% increase over the previous uh, previous year on the same period of time. And homes are definitely selling quicker, 23% uh, faster. Now, you can see here the months of inventory or the absorption rate is a little higher in the luxury market. That tends to be true. Generally speaking, we see that there are about twice as many homes for sale on the luxury side of our, uh, of our market compared to the affordable side um, at the pace of sales. It uh, just means that there's more affordable buyers at any given point than there are luxury buyers for the, the number of properties that are trying to be sold by that, uh, that clientele. So a couple other things on uh, luxury. The highest sales price was just under $20 million, um, and that was for 1475 East Mountain Drive. Came in at 196. And the highest price condo in Montecito and Hope Ranch was 1319 Plaza Pacifica at 5.3 million. So just uh, again, great, uh, great activity there. Uh, now we're going into the year to date. And again, like I mentioned, this is a little bit stronger to actually draw conclusions uh, from as far as what the market's doing from an appreciation standpoint, because this is looking at everything that's happened this year from January 1st to, you know, at uh, you know, time I'm doing this, mid-December, you know, excuse me, the end of, uh, sorry, these are end of November statistics, to, through the end of November uh, compared to last year at the same period of time, so that it's a larger sample size. So it gives us a truer picture of some uh, compared to some of the months where they're skewed by just kind of random occurrences, you know, higher end sales here or this market pocket of the market doing something here. So this is better data to look at overall. So overall year to date, single family homes, the average sales price is 3057000 which is a 34% increase. And the median sold price of 1.9 million is a 23% increase. So as I think about the appreciation uh, in the la it, 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 between those two periods of time, that that feels a little that feels a little better in that kind of you know mid 20s to mid 30s range. A lot of the, the, the singular sample sizes that we're seeing um, kind of reflect that. Now I will say that we have seen some properties you know go for as much as 50% or more. Compared compared to their last sales price that might have been in the last 12 to 24 months. So there are some isolated variables where properties have, have done quite a bit more than that, but I think the market as a whole, that feels good. It's definitely been double digit and somewhere between the mid 20s and mid 30s for, uh, for the appreciation. Uh, sold, sold volume definitely up this year over four uh, over four billion uh, four billion in sold volume in single family homes, which is just uh, which is just pretty incredible. So uh, going to condos, average sold price uh, just a little bit over a million dollars, a million forty five, and the median sold price a little over eight thirty. And you can see here, average sold price is up 11% and median uh, 14%. I've talked about this in previous market updates, but generally speaking, since COVID, we have seen a disparity between the appreciation of single family homes and of condos, which is pretty atypical for our area when you look at it from a historical perspective. So that is just a shift with COVID, and we don't know if that's a, a short-term shift or a long-term shift. So there you have it. Again, market's extremely active. If you're a seller, you still hold all the cards. If you're a buyer, it is really important to be working with a great agent or great team. Uh, and we'd be happy to talk to you about how we do representation differently, whether you're a buyer or a seller. Please reach to, re, please do reach out to us for a private uh, a consultation. We'd be happy to uh, talk you through your goals and put a strategic plan in place so that you can actually accomplish them in 2022 if for whatever reason you weren't able to accomplish them in 2021. Till then, have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, and just a wonderful holiday season.